Hello, I'm Eric from Ion Software and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a motion graphics like this from scratch. So we have our text turning on the screen, being lasered on and lasered off. Let's start with a new composition and uh, add a text tool to that. Let's write welcome and as a font, we take something like brush script, adjust the size, go to our shading tab and select a bluish color like so. And then we need to add a transform tool. So right click, transform, transform, connect our text to that and then move our transform out of the screen. So time for some animation. I want to actually modify my center with an XY path and for 50 frames I want the text to actually move into my image then for another 25 frames I want it to come to the bottom of the image and for another 50 frames I want it to move out of the image again so for now we have a simple text motion like this which is admittedly not too exciting. So let's make it exciting. Take another transform tool, connect it to our first transform and this transform I actually want to add a expression to the center. The simplest expression you could do is point open bracket 0.5 comma 0.5 close bracket which basically keeps the image in the center so it basically isn't doing anything. Let's select both transforms and on the second transforms Y value I just connect to the first transform center so I have point 0.5 comma transform one dot center dot y and since I want to invert this I simply type one minus transform one dot center dot y. So what now happens is that the second transform keeps the text again in the center of the screen. Again, not really exciting, but if we set the second transform to duplicate we get this effect which is almost the laser effect we are after. Let's break this up a little bit. Add from the warp menu a drip. Insert it in between the two transforms and add a rectangular mask to it. So I want the drip to only be active in the upper and lower boundaries off the frame. So adjust the mask like this and set the mask to invert and the drip itself to random which gives me this little dotty area here at the bottom and at the top of the screen. So that actually breaks up our laser effect and one more thing we have to add is a glow so right click add tool blur glow and for now obviously the glow glows our entire image we don't want that so we need to create a mask to do that we take a channel boolean and connect the second transforms output to the orange background input of the channel boolean and our original text to the foreground of the channel boolean and set the channel boolean to subtract which leaves us with the original laser glow only. Then add a bitmap mask to our glows glow input which is the white arrow here. Connect our channel boolean there and there we go with our glow tool only glowing the laser area. So adjust the blend mode a little bit and maybe the glow size as well, like so. 
Right. So that was a fast way to create an effect like that. But in the beginning of the tutorial, you've seen that the text actually moved around in a 3D style. Again, this is the beauty about node-based compositing. So we can now use this setup to pipe in each and every tool or each and every setup we have into this effect. And what I have here is a setup I did before. Let me switch this to camera and turn on lighting. So I have a simple text 3D, again, welcome, and the camera is moving around this. So if I render it out, I get that. And now I can simply add a brightness contrast or, for example, a pipe router and connect my render up here. And there we go with our laser glow effect, including the 3D text. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching, and have fun exploring the attached composition. Till next time, bye.